everyone. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Touch Tank Podcast. Or might I say the first episode of the Touch Tank Podcast, a podcast where we talk about all things for the Tampa Bay Rays. And a few of the things I want to talk about are the upcoming Red Sox series. We're going to talk about the MLB draft today and also um, upcoming games and the standings and the free agents that we can get after Dallas Keuchel and Craig Kimbrell signed with the Cubs and the Braves. All right. So, uh, so with the MLB draft, we obviously selected Greg Jones with the 22nd overall pick and out of UNC Wilmington, and I really like this pick. I think he is a great speedster. He can play lots of infield positions like shortstop and second base, but he can also play center field if we ever decide to trade Kiermaier at some point. And also, we drafted a few other names, such as Seth Johnson, a pitcher out of Campbell. Um, He is probably their number one starter, and he was really good. I actually went to the regional that Campbell was in this weekend, and I saw him pitch. He did really well. So I'm really excited for that pick to pan out in the future. We drafted J.J. Goss, a picture out of Texas, who is committed to Texas A&M. But I believe that he will come to the Rays because he is drafted in the second round and he can get a lot of money rather than going to college. Um, who else did we draft? We drafted... drafted Ben Troik from Illinois. Um, he batted 260 for Illinois, and he also did really well on the base paths, but unfortunately he missed the last month after getting hit by a pitch. And we drafted Nick Sogard. He stole 30 bases this season, so he should really be a what face to watch out for. He is also the cousin of Eric Sogard, so that is another reason as to why he is going to be a good draft pick, because obviously Eric Sogard is a great baseball player. Um, we drafted Joe Gobelot. I'm sorry if I am pronouncing that name wrong, but he is a teammate of one of the number one pick or one of the day one picks uh joe doxicus and he only has two innings pitched in his entire college career but he was due to, but he had an illness but he was drafted very highly in the 2017 draft before he attended college and he decided to let um we drafted cam shepherd from georgia he was ranked 247 in the beginning of this season, but he had a pretty not great season at the plates, and he only batted 231, and his OPS has declined every year. But we drafted Zach Bravo. That is a name to watch out for, both in baseball, but also in just his name being Bravo. That's He's obviously going to be a stud for us, no doubt. And in round 32, we drafted Cody Huff out of Horizon High School. He is ranked on the Baseball America 500 at number 400. He's committed to Stanford. So I bet that he won't sign with us because he is only drafted in the 32nd round. So he's probably going to want to get his draft stock up. But he is pretty strong as... You may already know. And that's all I really want to talk about for our draft picks. I can't really see... There's not really anybody else that is noteworthy that I feel like. Sorry if I did not talk about you. 
and you're listening to this for some reason. Um, and the Red Sox series is coming up. We are, uh, we are in second place in the AL East, and we are. The Red Sox are six games behind the Yankees. We are currently one. Currently, we are in second place in the AL East, one and a half games behind the Yankees at 37 and 23. Um, the Yankees are 39 and 22, so it obviously should not be that hard to get back up to the Yankees. We play the Red Sox this weekend in a four game series. That's obviously very pivotal because they are five games behind us, so they could get within one game if we get swept by the Red Sox, but I doubt that we will get swept by the Red Sox because we are, we have Snell pitching for one game, even though he's not doing that well. And we have two games tomorrow. So I really believe that we can secure at least three wins this series, if not four against the Red Sox and propel ourselves in back into first place in the AL East. The Yankees are playing this weekend uh, the Indians, and the Indians are, they're not saying they're a great baseball team this year as they have been in the past, but they're definitely still contending for the AL Central title. Um, tonight they have Domingo Herman on the mound, so he's 9-1, and one, so I doubt they win today, but tomorrow they have Sabathia, and then after that Tanaka, and neither of them have done overly good. They're combined 3-2. and two and three and five so they're combined six and eight on the season and Sabathia has a 3.61 ERA and Tanaka has a 3.42 ERA but back to the Rays and the Red Sox um tonight we are playing at 710 against Boston as I'm sure you already know uh Yanni Chirinos is pitching he is six and two with 3.25 ERA and on the mound for the Red Sox is Rick Porcello, who is four and five with a four seven six ERA. So I feel like we'll be able to win today, if not any other day this week. Um, tomorrow they are pitching David Price in the first game at one o five p.m. Eastern Time, who is doing fairly well this season. Um, I always like playing against David Price. He was one of my favorite players when he was still in Tampa, and I cannot wait to face him again. Uh, We do not have a starter labeled for that game. Um, Later on tomorrow, we are playing the Red Sox again on a makeup from our rainout on April 26th. Neither team has announced a pitcher. And then on Sunday, it is bump day again at 1.05 p.m. Blake Snell will take the mound, which he is surprisingly doing not very well this season. He's at at 3-5 with a 3.68 ERA. Uh, the Red Sox are pitching Rodriguez, who is currently six and three. So that is n- pretty good, but he also has a four point eight eight ERA, which is nearing a lot of bad things that could happen. We could easily make him lose his control over the baseball because we are hitting a lot of home runs as of recently. Travis Darnold had two home runs yesterday. And uh, Willie Adamas also hit a home run yesterday. So I'm very confident that we can take at least two of these games, if not three or four. In fact, I would almost say it's a lock that we take at least two games this weekend on Friday and Sunday. The Red Sox are 33-29. and 29. So, also, we are having a better season than they are. So, I'm just really confident. And another thing. So, another thing I want to talk about is the Blake Snell's struggles. I don't really understand why he's having so many struggles after his Cy Young caliber season from last year when he posted a very quality record of... 21-5, and so he already has as many losses as he did last season, this year, but with seven, with 
one-seventh of the amount of wins. So that is obviously very concerning. Um, he actually did get three-fifths. He actually got 60% of his wins at the Major League level last season, which is a very good thing to note as of last year. But this year, he is not doing very well. He has a 3.6 e- ERA, which is not earth-shattering, but when considering that he's given up 54 hits in this, like, third of the season that would like easily be on pace to be the most that he'd ever given up in like ever um he's given up 28 runs only one of them was not earned and he's given up nine home runs so obviously he is fallen off a little bit to say the least and I just really hope that he gets back into his groove I think Blake is a great guy he is a great person to hang out with as a fan and he will he has a great love for the Rays and I just really hope that he succeeds even if after his five-year contract expires he goes somewhere else which I know that's a long time in the future but five years in the like world of baseball is not that long I mean we've been playing baseball for 150 years, or 200 years, or even almost, so, while we are not, let's, other teams in the AL East, the Blue Jays are 23 and 39, so they're 16 and a half games back, and the Orioles still have not won 20 games, they're at 19 and 43, and they're 20 and a half games back on the currently for a few days leading Yankees and I feel I really do feel like we can come back and take over first place within the next week or two if not this series because after this we have a series against or at home against Oakland and then we are at home against the Angels, neither of which are very good teams, to say the least. But then we do go to New York, and that's going to be a really pivotal series for two games. That's it. But that is still a lot. Um, and then we go back to Oakland. So that is an upcoming like outlook on our schedule and how we are going to take over first place like I said again we play the Yankees in a two-game series on June 17th and 18th actually no we play them in a three-game series from June 17th to June 19th okay another big concerning discussion point is not getting either Craig Kimbrell nor Dallas Keuchel as I'm sure you already know, Craig Kimbrell signed a three-year, $43 million deal with the Cubs. And Dallas Keuchel signed a one-year deal with the Braves. Although, I do not know how much he currently signed for. I believe it was $18 million, maybe. Which is definitely more than we have paid in the past. But we did, our offer to Craig Kimbrell was three years, $39 million. So we only offered... A little over a million less a year than the Cubs so that's really just depressing that we could not get him because the Cubs didn't even really show up in the race for Kimbrel for a good while until like a week ago and then now they just got him and then Keuchel also the Braves were not in on the Keuchel sweepstakes for a long time until they just hopped in and then stole him which just really makes me sad because we really need some pitching desperately as I'm sure you have found out they are not doing well that's just all I can really say we have uh the struggles with Kalarik and Jose Alvarado which I really think that Jose is a good guy I have a Jose Alvarado jersey which I know you can roast me all you want but I Going into this season, he was supposed to be our closer, and now he's just become not very good this season. And I really just think we need some more pitching. Obviously, there's a few names that we can go after at the trade line, such as Marcus Stroman. But, 
and I would really like to see us get Stroman. That would push us up to four starters once Glasnow gets back, and 